Only on News 15, dramatic and raw testimony on the UL campus today. The State Pardons and Parole Board giving students a first-hand look at the criminal justice system. Students sat in on a series of parole hearings via video conference today. The hearings were for inmates in state prison seeking parole through the three-member parole board, and those members were in the classroom. You see them there today. The hearings gave students an up-close look at the criminal justice system here in Louisiana, often with gut-wrenching testimony. You had time to think about what you did. You went home and got a gun and came back. So you, you know what you was doing. Yes, Ms. And Castle, you were, Ms. Castle, would you address your remarks to the panel and not Mr. Oh, Smith? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, just I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Now that was Betty Castle addressing Tyrone Smith, who shot her 17-year-old son to death outside of a bar in Homa in 2002. Smith is, is 22 years into his 40-year sentence for manslaughter. Today was his second chance at parole in the last two years, but he was again denied by the parole board following Castle's raw testimony. The director of the board stresses transparency in hearings like this one to help students understand Louisiana's criminal justice system. I, I hope that they, uh, they see that our, our hearings are fair uh, for all parties involved. Uh, we have to consider uh, not only the crime that was committed, uh, and, and but the victims uh, as well. Public safety is always going to be first in what we do. The hearings are streamed live on YouTube, and victims' families are notified in advance of the hearings that affect them so they can offer victim impact statements.